Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about Evil Dead. And this movie came out in 2013, and it is a remake of uh, the Evil Dead films. And uh, before I get into the 2013 film, I just want to mention briefly that I'm a fan of the Evil Dead films. I own all of them. I have this the DVD for the original film, because, long story short, that's the original cut of the film and not the... I guess, George Lucas version of it. Uh, and they got the 4Ks for the rest of them. Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, oops, sorry, and Evil Dead Rise. All films that I thoroughly enjoyed. And I like this series best when it's trying to be campy and fun. Because the horror elements aren't really my favorite parts of these movies. Because they don't really work for me all that well. I'm not saying that it never works for me or I'm never scared at any point while watching any of these movies. It's just that uh, my favorite parts of these uh, movies is why it's campy and fun. And I guess at points bloody and gory and that stuff I enjoy as well. And this movie delivers on the gore. That's the most memorable part about the movie is that it's bloody. I enjoyed that element of it. And I liked some of the long takes in this 2013 film. And there were some uh, good performances in this movie. And uh, when it was trying to be kind of goofy, uh, like with the Evil Dead characters, the uh, Deadites, I think they're called, uh, they were fun to watch, even if uh, they don't have too many moments that stand out to me. And the effects in the movie look good. It's not a poorly made film. It's just that the script is all over the place. It's dumb. The movie doesn't really realize this, uh, that it's a really dumb movie and what it's doing is incredibly stupid. It just plays itself very straightforward and I'm fine with that, but it doesn't really understand all these different things that are going on in the film that I would call goofy. And it just comes across as, wow, you just have no self-awareness of what you are and... It just comes across as a big missed opportunity, and I wasn't scared by anything in this movie. I just uh, wasn't disturbed, <laughs> and I was just passively watching the movie. I hate the characters in this movie. They're very unlikable characters. There's nothing to like about any of them. And the movie tries to make you like them, but it just completely fails. And this movie, without spoiling anything, is a lot more tropey than the previous Evil Dead films. And unfortunately, I can't uh, say why because I don't want to spoil anything. But the ending to this movie was just so stupid. And the third act overall was just very underwhelming. And it was my least favorite part of the movie. Just in terms of what happened. <laughs> and there was a thing that happened in this movie that I was for sure, like, just convinced in my mind that what this character was doing was not going to work. And much to my surprise, it worked. I was shocked. I thought it wasn't going to work. <laughs> <sighs> I wasn't really a fan of uh, the music. I just found it to be overbearing and overused. And none of it was effective for me. The only things that I liked about this movie were the visuals and the gore. That's about it. And... The opening scene of this movie I thought was unnecessary. I get that in a horror movie you want to establish the tone of the movie within the opening scene, but it really didn't need to be in the movie at all. It was kind of just a big waste of time. And I think the movie would have worked just fine if we didn't have that opening. And there are flashbacks to it uh, for no reason at all, and that could have been cut out. And it kind of sounds weird that there are things that could be cut out of this movie for a movie that's an hour and a half. <laughs> but that's the case. But I'll say this uh, much about the movie. For the most part, I wasn't really bored. Things were moving. I felt as though there was a progression going on. And there was something there, I guess. And one last thing uh, to say about the third act uh, that really let me down it just turns into, remember the original films? And it was just a bunch of callbacks to those films, and it was just incredibly underwhelming. And that's about all I have to say about Evil Dead 2013. Uh, 
this was Fede Alvarez's first feature film, and for first feature, it's not bad, but I just got nothing out of this movie outside of the violence. That's the best part of the movie, and it doesn't look terrible, I guess, in terms of how it's shot. But aside from that, it just it kept uh, reminding me of uh, the other Evil Dead movies and how much more I enjoyed those films. Like, Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness are really great, and I can rewatch those movies at any point. The original film I enjoy, same thing with Evil Dead Rise, which is a sequel to this movie, and I don't remember exactly how it connects uh, to this movie. I'll have to rewatch it because I've only seen Evil Dead Rise once. But going back to Evil Dead 2013, I'll never watch this movie again. There's no reason for me to go back to it. It's the only Evil Dead movie that I will never own. And the only reason you'll see it in my collection is if someone buys it for me for either my birthday or Christmas. (laughs) So that's how I feel about it. I can live the rest of my life without seeing this movie again. Hollow experience, got nothing out of it, and I would say skip this one. There's much better Evil Dead movies. So, with all that being said, I'm going to give Evil Dead from 2013 a 4 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of Evil Dead 2013 and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for, if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Glen Gary Glen Ross, if <laughs> I said that right. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.